People are naturally, inherently mobile. And yet, for a hundred years, we had been told that the only way to communicate was over a pair of wires, wires that kind of leashed you to your desk, that tied you to your home when you wanted the freedom to be everywhere. And that is the nature of what communications ought to be. Portable means freedom. In the late 1960s, uh, I was at Motorola, but at that time, if you wanted a phone, the only way to get it was from AT&T in most places, and they wouldn't even sell it to you. You'd have to rent it from them. And they invented a concept called cellular telephony. They announced that they were going to set people free. They were going to cut the wire. And the second thing that they said is, this service is going to be car telephones. As a vehicle drives from one cell to another, advanced electronic equipment automatically transfers the call by telephone line to another cell without the caller knowing it. That's when I had the idea of, why don't we build a cellular system that's the way it ought to be, that's personal, portable. We shut down engineering in the company and put all our efforts into building a handheld portable cell phone. On April 3rd, 1973, we actually demonstrated the system in New York. We had a press conference scheduled for the afternoon, but we had been approached by a journalist, and I decided, well, why don't we give him a real demonstration? A real demonstration would be walking down the street, and that's exactly what we did. I wanted to really put a uh, dazzling demonstration on for this journalist. I took a chance and called Joel Engel. Dr. Engel uh, was running the AT&T program. And I said, hi, Joel, it's Marty Cooper. Hi, Marty, he says. I'm calling you from a cell phone, but a real cell phone, a personal, handheld, portable cell phone. There was silence at the other end of the line. To this day, Joel doesn't remember that call, and I'm not sure I blame him. Now this is a, an exact model of the very first cell phone. There were only two phones uh, in existence at that time. The biggest issue in that first call, we didn't know it was going to be historic in any way at all. We were only worried about one thing. Is the phone going to work when we turn it on? Fortunately, it did. We never could have predicted what has happened to the technology over the years since we created that first cell phone. Now, the modern smartphone is a technological marvel. It really is incredible, all the stuff that is squeezed into that cell phone. But I'm not very happy with it. A part of it is because we think that we can make a smartphone that does all things for all people and yet we know that it doesn't do any of those things perfectly. So we've still got a ways to go.